This is the internet historian's new video. What a time to be alive. The internet historian is a fucking legend. All of his videos are 10 out of 10 magical. This video meets the criteria of legal fair use and those of YouTube guidelines. No citation or example media herein constitutes infringement under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Dude, I really have to root. The following is satire and journalistic in nature. All images and media have been sourced from places or public record, and a special care has been taken to censor names, faces, specific locations, record, and personal information of those featured to protect their privacy. Names of individuals mentioned in this video meet the criteria of public figures. Regardless, care has still been taken to omit any irrelevant information. Uh, read it in... Uh, the following is not an endorsement, invitation, or condoning of harassment towards the individuals featured in this video. Please behave yourselves. Aliens. They exist. And what's more, they're here and they've been walking among us for millions of years. Just look up at the night sky. Each one of those lights is probably an alien. Shoot at them, and the police show up. Coincidence? Break into the CIA, just looking for clues. They put you on a no-fly list. Coincidence? There are no coincidences, only truth bombs, and the government is holding the fuse. Locked up tight in Area 51. And so our story begins with one man. Joseph Experience. On June 21st of the solar year 2000. I don't watch the Joe Rogan Experience. I know very little about the Joe Rogan Experience, but everything that I've heard about the Joe Rogan Experience has been he's a fucking idiot and it's awful. I'm just going off what I've heard. All I hear is bad shit. And then do you guys remember the whole um, Neil Young thing, right? Neil Young took his music off because Joe Rogan was saying some shit on Spotify. Okay. 19. Joe spoke to a whistleblower. Right! Bob Lazard. Now, Bob claims to have worked at the Area 51. And so, Joe summoned him to his... Sensory Deprivation Satellite, where he could ask him probing questions about the that government facility. machine that was able to read the, the size of your dicks. In the yeah. What? Huge. View for yourself this incredible testimony before the UN dun, takes dun, it dun. down. You used to work at Area 51. When did things get weird? Well, the way this went down was I only got hands on with one of them. And I was. <laughs> Wait, what? One of them. Fucking an alien. It produced a little discharge from the bottom. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay, this is cut. Before the UN dun, takes dun, it dun. down. You used to work at Area 51. When did things get weird? Well, the way this went down was I only got hands on with one of them, and I was fucking an <laughs> alien. It produced a little discharge from the bottom. It was exciting. You know, we turned the lights on and all these guys are there. So what in the fuck is this? <laughs> we have, you know, actual hardware from another civilization. It's a big, um, live in a house that's bullshit i like just swinging around on trees Absolutely. we are the sex organs of the machine world but for people who don't know let's give them the bullet points how right. tall are you i'm 5'10 you don't seem to have any muscle you know, almost like a frame is there anything else you'd like to say well the disc the flying saucer that i worked on I saw it sitting there, and I thought, oh, my God. Hey, Bob, it's probably a good idea if you shut up. I worked <laughs> underground with the aliens, and they shot my hand off. They're underground. There's bases. They're shooting lasers through the Earth's crust, and they move them at light speed. You you big fucking... What? I'm not even doing anything. Drop dead. Hey, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? Deal. the fuck out. All right. That's it, folks. Good night. These revelations were sent out all over the globe. 
What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> Using beams. Absolutely free. And it started an incredible awakening, inseminating the people's brains with knowledge. Who killed JFK? Flooring them with the revelation of it all. An orangutan with a spear. And soon they were bursting with righteous curiosity. Bigfoot is a human animal hybrid. hybrid. All right, here's the Google searches for Area 51. That big spike there, that's when Joe Rogan put out his podcast. You get the idea. And you see, it reached the right man at just the right time. A 21-year-old named Matthew Roberts. Matthew Roberts, Facebook user, wears a hat. Hell yeah, brother, me too. Me too. He had I'll been a hat guy today. in Area 51 before, and he believed he wanted to see him. Real bad. Hat main. But what could he do? How could he possibly mm. get into Area 51 to check him out? Thing. <clears throat> Thing. 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 Scenario one. If I ran into Area 51, <laughs> I would be shot. <laughs> what the fuck? Thing. Scenario one. If I ran in... <laughs> To Area 51, I would be shot and killed. Scenario 2, if me and all of my friends ran in, we'd both be killed. But Scenario 3, if there were so many of us, thousands, so much fodder that they eventually ran out of bullets, then someone surely is going to get through and touch the government in its special area. My God. Within minutes, he was drafting a Facebook <clears throat> post. They can't stop all of us. We'll Maddie Robert, hell yeah. This. On September 20th, 2019, we'll all meet up at the Area 51 Alien Central Tourist Attraction and coordinate our entry. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. <laughs> Let's see them aliens. This event then goes into the ether. Mm -hmm. And from here, it was up to the Facebook algorithm gods to decide. Did anybody in here actually remember this? I have no idea that this happened. Wait, you guys actually remember this shit? Dude, I live under a fucking rock, man. Holy fuck. I didn't remember this shit. I didn't even know about the Shia shit. I didn't know about any of this crap. Died. what would happen next? There's a lot here to be excited about. I think this could be very positive for our society and economy. People from all across the flat world were receiving the invite, and they began pressing the attending button. Storm Area 51. They can't stop us all. Yo, hey, Ryan Greg, thank you for the resub. Also, Kate Top and Doa, thank you as well, ma'am. Okay, I have a question. For those of you that remembered it, did you actually go to this? Or, I mean, well, not go to it, but did you RSVP it? <laughs> I said no. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let me get this straight. You guys, meme chat shitlords, but you didn't RSVP to this? I'm disappointed. We are gamers. We don't go outside. Okay, okay, I guess that's a good... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Within just a couple of days, the event had picked up hundreds of thousands of attendees. People loved the idea so much, they began making memes about how they were going to raid the base. So many I can barely show you a fraction of them, rapid firing them out like the bullets that would soon be gunning them down. And so the event spread and spread around the internet, eventually morphing into everyone who is something is gonna raid Area 51. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the- This is from Starship Troopers. Did you guys see that movie? Dude, it's such a good movie. Star if you haven't seen Starship Troopers, you have gotta watch Starship Troopers. It's so fucking good. The future. Nigel, a runner. No pointer, runner. Stevens, agent. Silent, a runner. Freeman, 713. <laughs> I am a sentinel. Everyone's doing their part. Are you? We have the ships. 
We have the weapon. Kept trying to put his gun down! We need soldiers. We need you all. And just like that, the game was on. Air time. time. Is the new campaign? You're gonna love it. To be. Oh, Nord, to be. Plans disappear. Dreams take over. I live. I laugh. I Nord. Nord on every device, like a blank canvas. I can be here and anywhere. Jam a man of fortune. <laughs> Will you break these chains? But wherever I go, there you are. NordVPN.com <laughs> slash internet historian. No, thanks. Look, I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just an idea. I know what you want. You want the female audience, and I know women. Good morrow to you, ladies. Have you heard about NordVPN? <laughs> You should get access to the international Netflix cat. I'm gonna get cat ears. You never miss another episode of the Handsome Man Show. I'm getting oh, cat ears. Hate it when your dishwasher gets region locked. No more. <laughs> oh, I feel so safe in NordVPN's big strong arms. What? Especially with their new product, Threat Protection. It protects me from malicious sites and downloads and trackers and intrusive ads. So think pink. Think NordVPN.com slash Internet Historian. Because the V in VPN stands for the jump. I think we've heard enough. Fine. All right, I'll do the ads you like. That's so Get Nord. Oh, you could use some threat protection. Take your online safety more <laughs> seriously. Ah, have you heard about their amazing prices? NordVPN.com slash internet story. <laughs> Tell them who sent you. Ad over. Welcome to the mission brief. Let's do a bit of background on Area 51. Secret military base, first developed in 1955. <laughs> this is what it looks like on Google Maps. It's approximately this big. Total area size, 51. And the volume, a big mystery. Until 1997, the government refused to even acknowledge that it existed. That is, until they were forced to by lawsuit. That lawsuit was about the death of hmm. two men who were former employees. And how did they die? Well, not aliens, but rather toxic fumes from burning garbage. Yeah, so what they would do is- Wait, what? Burning trash? Holy fuck. Resulted in persistent respiratory dysentery. Oh my, okay. Was burn a whole bunch of cool high-tech refuse on the lot, let the deadly smoke blow downwind, and the staff was stuck breathing it in. A few years later, bing bing bong, cancer. Other than that, the public hasn't really been told anything. So all people can do is speculate as to what the hell is going on in there. I think that they are keeping remnants of a UFO there. We don't know if it's aliens. We don't know if it's time travel. We don't know if there's minions in there. A uh, virtual reality that seems so incredibly sexy. But what has been leaked is that they do test flights <laughs> on new alien what? craft. What the fuck are you doing? Produce new alien tech. Breed the latest version of the newest, gayest frog. Do not get it confused with Roswell. That's over here. Area 51's over here. And the final thing that we know is that security is top notch. They have that thing locked down. So, you want to break in anyway. Okay, but it's going to require some research. And the first thing to find out has anyone ever tried breaking in before? Yes, several times. In fact, in January of 2019, an unnamed man broke through security barriers and drove eight miles into the base. He got out of his car with a metal cylinder in his hands and the military opened fire. Oh my, what the f fuck, dude? Man holding mysterious cylindrical object shot dead by police. Holy fuck. He was shot dead at the scene. And there was this time when a film crew from the BBC was arrested for trying to get in. This is BBC News. This time when a vacationing family of four went off track. You get the idea. They're not messing around. Put your fucking hands up. I'm not going to tell you again. But there's one story to top them all. And we'll just... Dude, his hands were up. The of four went off track. You get the idea. 
they're not messing around. Put your fucking hands up. I'm not going to tell you again. But there's one story to Damn. tell them all. And Will disguises his identity, but he is my personal hero. The month <laughs> is November. The location, Las Vegas. And the protagonist, a professional limo driver. Now, he's more than a little unhinged. He decides to start harassing and sending death threats to a lawyer, whom we think was going to represent his defense for this incident. If you've ever seen this TikTok, that's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas. Fucking legend. What, what a legend, dude. What a legend, man. His defense for this incident. <laughs> if you've ever seen this TikTok, that's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas Strip. Anyway, fast forward three weeks. It's like six in the morning and this guy is already doing donuts at a car park near the airport. Then he decides to drive from the car park into the airport itself. Offense? No problem. He drives right through it and <laughs> onto the runway. What? What the fuck, dude? Is this real? Did this really happen? Oh my god. He's just driving around, whizzing between <laughs> planes, almost crashing several times before eventually parking on a ramp. At this point, he jumps out, puts on a <laughs> clown mask, and storms right up to a private jet. He announces, aggressively, to the flight staff that there is a bomb in his limo. Quote, I have a fucking bomb. I'm going to blow this place up. His plan? To commandeer this private jet and take it to Area 51. <laughs> However, as sound as this plan was, the quick response by police meant that it wasn't really working out. So, he bails back to his limo, tries to make an escape, <laughs> until eventually police catch up with him. At that point, he is quickly arrested. They take him in for questioning, and he starts telling them, that's right, I did it to see the aliens. He also told them to refer to him as the chosen one. <laughs> And, by the way, I have high security clearance. <laughs> also, I'm involved with the mob. And someone owes me millions of dollars. Later on, the bomb defusal crew checks out the limo <laughs> and determines that it's just a fire extinguisher with a bunch of wires and duct tape and some fairy lights. <laughs> now, at some point, he gets out, presumably on bail, and CNN reporters walk up to him and start asking him questions. No, no statements from me, he says but you should talk to my lawyer. And then he proceeds to hand them the business card <laughs> of the lawyer that he's been sending death threats to for the last three weeks. Amazing. Uh <laughs> what a fucking legend. Holy shit, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Mod him, VIP him, gift him a sub. Gift that man a sub. After all that, the judge ordered that he be sent to a mental hospital for <laughs> assessment. <laughs> or so they say. Ooh, how convenient. Okay, so people have really died trying to do this. That means we're going to have to be a little more covert. So over at Area 51 HQ, the military can see that Facebook numbers have reached 1 million. And it doesn't take a genius to calculate that even if- Holy shit, dude, a million people said they were gonna go that? A million people. If just 1% of them show up, that's- Wait a minute. Run those numbers. This many people. In a crowd that big, there's bound to be at least a few who'll do something stupid. In fact, <laughs> the military took it so serial- Enhance. That they even went over the nuances of Naruto running. <laughs> This is a real slide, by the way. Terms to know, Naruto running, the act of running like Japanese anime character, Naruto Uzumaki, in which a person runs very fast with their torso forward and arms back. And it required a real demonstration, of course. Now, some undercover operative then took a photo of that brief <laughs> and they uploaded it to Reddit. They intend to use our tactics against us. All right, so if the military decides to do this, things could go pretty badly for Matthew. So Matthew goes back to his mind palace. Think, think, think. Uh, let's not keep saying it's a raid. Instead, let's do a music festival. 
This would give Matthew an alibi and throw authorities off the scent. Okay. I'm willing to music festival. For the government, let's do this. All right, Reddit, here it is. Alien Stock 2019. The official EDM party, hosted by Matthew Roberts. Alien Set Stock. Take place in Rachel, Nevada, a town that just so happens to neighbor Area 51. It has 50 th total residents and practically no infrastructure. No town water, no public toilets, no convenience store, no gas station. What the fuck? How do these people get like food and shit then? Perfect. Yeah, nice try, fellas, said the military. And the captains and the generals all started planning their own EDM Go to a real party. town. With the deep state. Three groups in particular. Imagine having to go the town over to get milk. Go to Area 50. Introducing Group E. They eat alien corpses. The E local state police. Police have their work cut out for them because, owing to this party, they think there could be upwards of 50,000 people descending upon the little town of Rachel. Lincoln County commissioners trying to tackle the tough task of preparing for a potential inundation. Hell yeah, look at that hat. You see that hat, dude? Yo, what if I got a hat like that? That's a 10 gallon hat, right? I want to get a hat like that. Dies of cringe. Of you people. just don't know Sheriff style. Kerry Lee has less than 30 deputies. The county declares a state of emergency and they allocate an extra $250,000 worth of enforcement for the weekend of the raid, as well as an extra 300 police officers and paramedics. That many people are gonna stress the community to the point that it, it just, it, we can't cope with it. This is some of the most exciting stuff that I've ever gotten to work on. And I'm- Hold on, Mark. Group D. God, dude. Ugh. Group D. The defense. Then I'm gonna take out my gun and shoot somebody. So the FBI agents that showed up, they showed up at 10 a.m. They contacted my mom and you're like, so she texted me, she's like, the FBI's here, answer your phone. So I was kind of scared at this point, but. This report from the Nevada Department of Public Safety Damn. was released last year, and it features some very interesting details. For example, <clears throat> they caught a group of YouTubers trying to plant a tracker on the bus that goes to and from the base. We're gonna pull an epic prank. Highly illegal. And you may not be that surprised to hear that the military isn't actually that worried about people breaking into the base. Turns out, they have automated weapons. Not automatic weapons. Automated, whatever that is. No, instead, they think there's potential that real terrorists will, you know, do the thing, or a Holy thing. shit. So, counterterrorism <clears throat> was given a budget to sweep for chemical, biological, radiological, and explosive material. Although, nothing was found. And there's just one last group getting involved as well. The mm, corporate press. Disinformation agents in the mainstream media were getting involved. They immediately started warning people not to raid. Use of lethal force authorized. Spouting contempt for the stormers. What started as a joke Facebook event quickly turned into a phenomenon. Well, it began as a joke. <laughs> Peter's the U.S. Air Force is taking much these more seriously. Serious. Astroturfing campaigns by late night ha ha men number one through seven. It's much more likely they'll see them tasers. Ha ha ha! Laugh it all up. It's just a big joke. Say they're interested, just keeps growing. Faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. And they weren't afraid to give some of the biggest, brainest takes you've ever. Dude, I don't remember any of this. When did this happen? Like two years ago? No, I'm serious. I don't remember any of this. Oh, like three years ago? Dude, what the fuck am I doing? I don't watch the news. I don't do any of this shit. It's not clear the 1.1 million Facebook followers who said they are going to storm Area 51 are real and not Russian bots. You're a goddamn genius! What? Russian bots? Fine. We'll make you take us seriously. Let the training begin. Naruto message from high raid command. Naruto runners, Kyles, and other soldiers of the Area 51 invasion force. You are about to embark upon the greatest crusade towards we have driven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of Reddit users everywhere 
march with you with your fellow brothers on different sides and other countries you will not bring upon the alien liberation from their captivity and security for them in a free world the task will not be an easy one the guards are well trained well equipped and battle hardened he will fight savagely. The year is 2019. Much has happened since the planning of this event. Many Karens have... Jesus Christ. Many Karens have placed at our disposal many fighting men. With their strength, the opposition's ability to wage combat is deduced. The tide has turned. The aliens and their liberators march to... Is this real, dude? What the fuck am I reading? I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. And speaking of that, I think it's time for my workout. And so the Raiders began training. We train oh my God. for Area 51. So let's go. Sandwich. They began pushing their body. Go on, make it happen. Pushing their will. Pushing their spirits. Dominate. Pushing their minds. resist. Pushing their friends and family's patience to the limit. <laughs> Who wants to call me to kick some alien butt? In September, join me. We out. And that's what fitness will be like in the metaverse. As we zero in on the day of the raid, the count is up to two million attendees, and that puts us on par with the world's largest standing <clears throat> army. So to coordinate all of these troops, whoa, 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 just standing. Holy shit. Army. So to coordinate all of these troops, we'll need a battle strategy. Lay it on us. From r slash memes, intel was being filtered down to the troops. Groups such as the Minecraft YouTubers, <laughs> the Normans, <laughs> the Weeds, Facebook moms, the Piles, the Chads, the Crackheads. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Florida man, the Australians, the gay reddit mods okay this thread is locked and the north korean defectors they all had their role to play <laughs> so godzilla comes in from the east while the australians make a distraction that allows the minion cosplayers to breach from the south of course these very serious strategies would have to be disguised as memes so that they could be spread across youtube reddit and tiktok without the threat of being <laughs> although not everyone was as tech savvy <laughs> Authorities managed to nab one of the main cartographers, and they pressured him into an interview on the television. Um, it took me a total of five minutes to put this image together. It was sort of like a, a battle strategy almost. It was completely rooted in satire. That was just completely rooted in satire. And no one should raid, this is just completely a joke. <laughs> and completely just a joke. Mission counting sheeple complete, you can take him out. No! Okay, so remember how we're not raiding anymore and it's just a music festival? Wink, 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 wink. Well, bad news. Okay, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up in the air. We're putting Maddie on the spot here. There's a lot of challenges, so. <laughs> but it's two weeks away, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got to, like, uh, figure it out, I guess, somewhat soon, right? Yeah, it's all kind of <laughs> falling apart. See, Matthew had organized alien stock with a few other people. But his main business partner was Connie West. I didn't plan it. It planned me. But Matthew is the headliner. <laughs> it his name planned is attached her? to everything. What? And he's starting to get worried about a fire festival type situation uh, in the desert. Be a fire fest too. Yeah, I remember fire festival. That's a good video too. That's a damn good video. Point out. He wanted to make sure there's plenty of water, food, <laughs> security, Stop. insurance, go. et cetera, et cetera. And here, Deals and communication start to break down. Eventually, there's a lawsuit and it's kind of boring. Things that they were supposed to pay for, I'm stuck paying for. Who cares? We're gonna skip it. But the TLDR is that they had a disagreement and Connie said, I don't have to prove to you what I spent. You didn't sign a fucking contract with me to begin with. So guess what? I don't need to prove to you a motherfucking thing. And Matthew said, Matthew then took seven. Damn! Dude, what the fuck? 
$50,000 worth of sponsorship money. Retain the 70,000. Oh my God. Roberts, Daly, and the hidden sound kept and has unjustly retained the 70,000 wired by Pornhub for their personal benefit, the lawsuit said. And declared alien stock and Rachel canceled. But then, at the same time, Bud Light walks in. It's the Bud Knight. We're saved. The Bud it's Knight. Like, hey, why not do it here? In the Vegas. It has plenty of lighting, indoor plumbing. It has everything. Matthew said yes. And then using the website for alien stock, he told everyone to not go to Rachel and instead to go to Vegas. Welcome to... Yo, you guys been to Vegas? Vegas is pretty fun. I love FanFest of Vegas. FanFest of Vegas was so good. Oh, man. To Alien Stock Las Vegas. Sponsored by Bud, Bud Light. Light. And also Pornhub, but it's a long story. Connie was left to pick up the pieces. However, she would not be discouraged so easily. She decided to press on. It's going to be a great party. No matter what, it's going to be a great party. She had to take full control of the event in Rachel, dipping into her savings and even mortgaging her home. I'm working out of my own pocket. I think this is a liability. I'm out. So is Dude, it clear what's what going on? Dude, what the fuck? It's worth doing a very fast recap because there's an event in Rachel that's been declared cancelled but also not cancelled. Also, I forgot to mention there's an event in Hiko that isn't cancelled but it will be on the second day. There's also that third festival in Las Vegas which has the former promoter of the first one and they both share the same damn name. And none of this has anything to do with the actual raid on Area 51 which is here which has several gated entrances by the way and none of them have been declared the official gathering point. Confused? Yeah, pretty much everyone was. It's a goddamn mess. People, rightfully, put the whole thing in the too hard basket and instead of going to one in the middle of nowhere, just went to the one in Vegas. Yeah. Let's fast forward to the weekend of the raid. For better or worse, Rachel is about to open its doors to the millennials. Hell yeah! Alien star! Encore now has come to an abrupt halt. Don't let the aliens get you, kid. Do you believe in aliens? I don't. I don't. Run! Get out of here! Oh, you know, I want to hear about the alien liberal agenda. They could have some good talking points. We don't know. To protect my mind from interference. We have a wanderer. Don't let me leave, man! It could be anything stuck. But it's alien stuff. How do you see walking with that shirt up over your head like that? I don't. And the first ones are supposed <laughs> to be all these, you know, the best ones. Paranormal lawyer. PhD level field investigator. Stuff in downtown Las Vegas. Did they change the name or is it still alien stock? I think I'm on my highest high I've ever been in my life. Look at it. And, and we are taking a look kind of the area here. You've done a, a lot of work in a very short period of time. The security's here, the medical's here, the food is here, the people are here. And most importantly, what's <laughs> her here? Yeah, it was pretty good. I, uh, I just, I just went through a breakup, guys. Well, it wasn't quite the event that they had hoped for. But they did do a commendable job of acting retarded for the news. Whoa, 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 whoa! Internet historian, whoa! <laughs> gamer word, gamer word, whoa! I've ever had in my life. You think of yourself as a hero? I, I do. Here for scientific reasons. This is like the most millennial thing that's ever happened. But don't let's forget, Hiko, or the Heiko. No one knows how to pronounce it. This event was being hosted by George Harris of the Alien Research Center. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. If you want to have fun, if you want to have a great look, it's a great day. Base camp was equipped with a vendor village of 10 food trucks, a gift shop, and three-time Grammy Award winner Paul Oakenfold. For some reason. I was told there's a lot of people coming. Uh, well, right now things are kind of slow at the Heiko event here, so that's kind of a disappointment. Now, Heiko Base Camp was expecting somewhere between 1,000 and 20,000 attendees. It's quite a range. Maybe 50 people here. Uh, Clapping some alien cheeks. Yeah, but no cheeks are clapped. Yeah, where's at the all? cheeks? None. Where's Zero the cheeks. cheeks? This is like the first of a big thing. Uh, but it wasn't. In fact, it seems as though the majority of the attendees were actually the press. One lady believed that her parents is actually alien. So, 
after the first night, they decided to cut their losses and cancel the whole event. You know, Damn. the producers of the show, it's very, very, very expensive. And it just didn't make sense. Because basically all of the attendees were stolen by... Alien Stock 2019! Yo, that looks lit, dude. We were going to go out to uh, Rachel, and then we decided that we didn't want to get stuck in the desert. Uh, as much as I like Mad Max, I don't want to live it. The Las Vegas Alien Stock, sponsored by Bud Light, was a smash hit. They've got carnival rides, photo ops. Have they done another Alien Stock since then? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting this happened in 2019. Video games and even a pool. No running. Who could have predicted this? You make a post at 2 a.m. with on a page that has 62 likes, and now you have thousands of people that are ready to come out to your show. That's a it's, good beard. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Back at Military HQ <laughs> in Anor Londo, operations were ramping up. They're adding more guards, upping the security, and enforcing a no-fly zone across the county. They were even infiltrating raider groups. You could be standing next to an officer and not even know it. There's a like big a... undercover presence here. And they were giving stern warnings from the PR team. They posted this tweet. The last thing millennials will see if they attempt to raid Area 51 today. Sorry to disappoint you, Yugi. Huh? You triggered my trap card! <laughs> Millennials immediately seized upon the tweet, doing what they do best by pretending to be offended, successfully <laughs> having the tweet taken down, yeah. and forcing a public apology. Oh, we got Last night, an employee posted a tweet that in no way supports the stance of the Department of Defense. It was inappropriate, and we apologize for this mistake. <laughs> You know, whoever posted that was an idiot. There's no way that's going to fly. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Cancel the government, dude. <laughs> All right, this video's getting very long. Uh, Let's hurry up to the main event. <clears throat> the Raid. Hey, are you coming? Yeah. Following is an accurate recreation of events. Yo, this is a banger! What the fuck? Banger alert! Oh, 
Hell yeah! Yo, let's go, dude. It's a legend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just noticed. Why is this in Japanese? Why is this in Japanese, dude? I thought this was supposed to be Area 51. Because anime? Okay, I mean, I'm just asking, dude. Oh, because of Naruto run. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Monster? Wait, it's just random Japanese words? Wait a minute. The Japanese isn't even, not even with the subtitles? It's just random words? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Man, this is good. This is like one of his best videos. This is really good. <laughs> like, honestly, okay, okay, honestly, if he made an entire movie, like a whole, like a whole movie, like this, I'd fucking watch it, dude. I'd go to a theater and watch that shit. <laughs> it will take him seven years. Not nah, fuck it, dude. I'll invest in the internet historian production. quite like that, but was pretty close to something like that. Although I guess you could say that only a small group showed up to the main gates themselves. Well, for a second, I forgot that it was, I, I was so invested. I was so invested in the recreation of events that I like forgot for a second that there was stuff that came before it. A million people. Of over 2 million people, in total only about 200 actually. Hell Man. yeah. But it's not about the quantity, it's the quality that counts. Nice outfit. <laughs> Oh my god. Now throw them over! <laughs> People mostly behave themselves. I mean, I think it's awesome you guys are you guys are following the laws, following directions, so. But they weren't about to leave without a consolation prize. Get some of the Area 51 soil. Top secret rock. Top secret rock. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> you can have it. It's from Area 51. 
Thank you. Okay. Also present at the raid were a few YouTubers. So I came here to get myself an alien as a pet. We're here to rescue the aliens! It's like, it's like Halloween, but we're just annoying people. <laughs> are, are you guys gamers? Playing games? No? <laughs> yeah, so you got the rebellious youth, and then you got people trying to lure E.T. into a cage with Reese's Pieces and stuff. That's a pretty good summary of the crowd that you have out here this weekend. But respect to the true heroes. Security. For keeping everyone. Ah, just kidding. It's the guys who got underneath this fence. God bless them. Oh, no! And this cameraman, whose foot raided the base. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, that's a foot I see. And this random woman, who decides to just start walking. What? Police, right there. What? No one's stopping her. Oh my god. She's gonna make it. <laughs> She's going home. What? She gets charged for trespassing and receives a $1,000 fine. Ah, uh, but soon... Why did, why did she walk past the gate? It was time the to wrap up. The storm is over. Because everyone's moms were there to pick them up. And if they were late again, there would be big trouble. Hey, good night, everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep now. In the bed. The bed. Psych. It's not over. There's one more thing that I want to tell you about today. God, because storming Area 51 oh. would go on to inspire a plethora of other events. The storming of Loch Ness. That thing can't hide from all of us. We think we have seen it. What did it look like? It looks like a big stone. Over 27,000 said they were going. Actual number six. <laughs> okay, but storm the Bermuda Triangle, why not? It can't drown all of us. And potentially millions actually went. But the, you know, the evidence would be lost. So how would you know? I am under the water. Please help me. <laughs> or how about Storm the Vatican? They can't molest us all. Interesting twist on that one, though. Someone cancelled the event. But overall, everyone had a pretty good time. Isn't that what Area 51 was really built for? It's something like that, you know what I mean? I haven't quite... Yo, that was great! Lamau, remember when I said that we were going to do shorter videos? And also, more frequently? Looks like you fell for it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I like his See long you in the next one in two years. Oh, don't say or it check like... check out the Incognito Mode channel. That has a lot more upload. Goodbye. Don't say that. Not two years. No! No!